What's up, guys? Sloppy Web below here. Well, guys, I'm getting a lot of requests of and a lot of comments about how do I keep my GTX Titan X so cool? Is it water cooled? What are you doing to achieve the temperatures I'm getting compared to what you're seeing on the internet where these guys are cooking the cards at 91 degrees Celsius and all that? Well, it's quite simple. It's uh, a fan control, manually controlling the fans instead of letting the computer or the program control the fans because when you put fans on auto which is come stock these GPUs get extremely hot and the reason is they don't change the, the car just starts heating up very fast the fan control on auto it doesn't respond as quick and the big no-no is that the fan never really gets to a high rev per minute so you may be stuck it some fans only go to 50 60 percent even though they can go up to a hundred now I'm not saying a hundred is a good thing but where it stops at is like 50 60 that's why you'll see these cards on the internet getting up to 90 91 degrees as um, a target to achieve the frames per second which is just uh, my eyes ludicrous so this is what I've done for years it works like a charm first thing is you're going to download MSI Afterburner this is Riva Tuna we'll get into that another time it does come with Riva Tuna when you usually download it. so anyway you're going to get MSI Afterburner you're going to click right here settings and you're going to click as you see GTX Titan X fan now this is how I do my parameters and it's all up to you so what you're going to see is milliseconds so every thousand milliseconds the fan the MSI afterburner program is going to search to see according to what the temperature are is according to what my fan speed is going to go to so first thing you're going to do is you're going to check force fan speed and what you're going to do is when you click these boxes you could set up your parameters now it's all up to you what, what you want to set it at but as you see here it, it's very simple here 0 to 100 Celsius 0 to 100 fan speed okay so when idling right here as you see it's about 35 degrees uh, sorry 35 degrees is 35 percent fan control as you see here when it gets to 40 degrees I have a 45 percent fan control just it's a it's very simple it's like using a graph that's it as you see here this is just another bump up when it gets to 50 Celsius I gotta go up to 50 percent fan speed when it starts climbing I start cranking the fan up even more 55 fan speed for 55 degrees and then as we go up 60 Celsius 65 percent fan speed and then I start climbing when you start getting to 65 Celsius I'm at 75 and so pretty much my fan will crank up more if you've seen pretty much my fan stays about um, when I've seen about 70 tops 71 percent fan speed and it's maintaining temperatures the highest I've seen my card get so far is 70 Celsius 71 Celsius it's the hottest it's pretty much staying in the 60s mid 60s to high 60s but that's you know 25 degrees colder than cards that are on the internet so this is how I do it I like it and that will give you the desired temperatures and keep your card healthy compared to frying it which let me tell you watch your degrees when you leave it on auto and you start gaming for a while you're gonna definitely see the stress levels take over and you're gonna see your card climb up into you know mid 80s 90s Celsius these you know a lot of targets on Precision X which is another program you'll see that they'll leave it as 91 92 Celsius and to get the desired frame rate okay and also I'm gonna teach you guys here's the overclocking aspect of it what I've been doing is this is completely stock card okay this is not a super clock card it's just a stock GeForce GTX Titan X so it's quite simple you're gonna raise your oh, hold on get off that you're gonna raise your power limit to 110 percent and every don't forget just take for a grain of salt that every card um, has different clock abilities and um, they may not your card may not get to this or your card may blow mine out of the water but for safety reasons um, 200 megahertz is a is a safe high-end overclock uh, for my card and you can go up to 500 megahertz I've been seeing a lot of people do it on the memory which is uh, quite a bit I leave it at 3 okay that's what I've been pretty much right here is my settings okay and you're gonna hit apply alright when you hit apply it's gonna do it now this is the uh, very important thing here do you see this box just turned off when I turn it off it's on auto when I turn it back on see the fan kick up to 43 percent that's my setting so 
you need to see this green barrier around there. If you click it again and it's off, it's back to auto. So that means the um, program is not going to run it. It's going to run it on auto. That's it, meaning it's like you're not going to, the fan controls that you set up are not going to run. So click the user settings and there you go. Again, go back to settings, go back to fan and set them up. Like I said, you can drag these bars, just so you know, I'm not gonna touch them because this is how I like my fan stuff. But once you click it, you could drag it any way you want. Drag left, drag right. If you think this is too high, drag it a little lower. You want it to be at 60, and you want it to be at 60 fan, click the box and drag it down. That's it. As you keep clicking in here, you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight aspects, so eight different different um, fan control settings, meaning these are going to eight different points of what your fan's going to do. So that's the first point. When it gets to this temperature, it's, that's the second point. When it gets to 50, that's the third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Okay, and that's how it goes. Just click, um, put it at a thousand, I think is the recommended setting for me, what I do. Make sure force fan speed update on each period. Hit OK, and you're pretty much done. Again, too, when you're done playing your games and overclocking them and with your, you know, with your cards, just hit reset and then click user settings and it's back onto your user settings. Very important right here, okay? Because if you clock up your card like an animal and uh, you don't put the user settings on, you know, th your card's going to get extremely hot. Now, that goes according to the 780, excuse me, 780 Ti, any card you get. So that's how I keep my fan at um, settings and that's why my cards run cool. You'll see it a lot cooler than other people's. Uh, it's very simple. And like I said, you can use Precision X2. And if you guys want, I do have a guide on it. I made a couple of years ago, but it still is current for today. It works just as good as this. So again, this is my uh, MSI Afterburner, how to use the fan and overclock your Titan X, GTX 980 or GTX 780 or 780 Ti. This is all you need to know. And one other thing is, what I would really recommend is this is the power limits for the Titan X. This is what is good for me. 200 megahertz overclock. You can go higher. You're starting to push the threshold. Memory can go up to 500. You probably can go higher. Maybe not on your card. But make sure you do a search on your card and see what the professionals on the websites are getting for. Power limit really is not as vital, but your core clock is your GPU clock and that is your memory clock of your RAM on your GPU. Okay, so best thing to do is obviously search before you start overclocking. This is for the Titan X specifically, but of course it works for every card, but do some research before you start overclocking, guys.